People usually try to remember the term compound sentence by simply memorizing a definition. But here's a more playful and more effective way. Hi, this is Thomas from Cozy Grammar. The noun compound, among other things, refers to a fenced-in area with several different independent buildings or houses in it. For example, my cozy writing yurt, my cozy plant nursery, and my cozy woodshed together form a kind of creative compound, though with trees and bushes around it instead of a fence. Now imagine a compound that you know yourself, seeing its different buildings and the wall or fence or bushes that surround them. This image is your mental key. Just as a compound has independent buildings that could stand on their own, so too a compound sentence has independent clauses that could stand on their own. For example, my flowers grow in my cozy plant nursery, and my firewood stays dry in my cozy woodshed. Here we have two clauses that could stand on their own as simple sentences. My flowers grow in my cozy plant nursery, period. My firewood stays dry in my cozy woodshed, period. Because these clauses could stand on their own independently, we call them independent clauses. And when we join two independent clauses or simple sentences with a coordinating conjunction such as and, we get a compound sentence. My flowers grow in my cozy plant nursery and my firewood stays dry in my cozy woodshed. And along with my cozy writing yurt, these different places together form my cozy creative compound. Do you have your own ways of remembering new ideas or concepts? If you do, feel free to share them in a comment or through our website, CozyGrammar.com. We'd be glad to hear from you.